is honestly a really incredible experience. Um, they go through so much change so quickly and they're so incredibly delicate while still being really resilient. And I think they're a poster child, honestly, for why conservation is so important. Milkweed is actually the only thing that monarch caterpillars will eat. And the reason is there's actually a toxin in the sap of the milkweed that the caterpillars absorb into their bodies and it makes them toxic to uh, predators that would eat them otherwise. And that's why they have that really iconic, uh, you know, yellow and black and white banding. That's to say, hey, I'm poisonous. <laughs> you don't want to mess with me. I actually have some here with me today to uh, to show off. This is a swamp milkweed, uh, which you can see it has these more uh, like lance-like leaves. So here we have two little guys on the bottom of the leaf, munching away. The other one's on the front side. I'll identify a patch of milkweed that I think is in a high-risk area, so a place that I know gets regularly mowed or sprayed with chemicals or is in a client's yard where they don't want it. Um, I will remove the plant, including the taproot, check the undersides for the eggs. Uh, sometimes you do find like caterpillars in the wild. I recommend leaving those. I will identify any eggs and I'll bring them home with me. You want to check over the plant that they're on to make sure that you don't have any pests like aphids, which can eat the eggs. Uh, you can give them like a very light rinse <laughs> with some dechlorinated tap water. Uh, and then really, you just kind of leave them alone. You want to make sure that you have an adequate space to keep them in and a fresh supply of safe milkweed to give them. But once you start paying attention to the little things all around you, you can't help but want to protect them. And so I really recommend, you know, taking some time to be out in nature and looking at the things living and growing all around you. 